for Cedric O'Neill. Here's the back. Going to give it to Cedric. Has a big hoe at the 40. Breaks it. Tackle. He's at the 30 to 20. At the 15 to 10. At the 5. Touchdown, Valosta State. Cedric O'Neill takes it 46 yards. Okay, he wants to throw. He does. Downfield. Got his man down there. What a catch. Touchdown, Sean Tavius. Oh, man. What a throw. And even a great, great catch. Need a big punt here from 99, Dominique Demasi. It's a fake for Valdosta State. They've got it at the 50, the 45, the 40. Comes back in at the 30. Has some blocking, gets to the 22-yard line. A great fake for Valdosta State. Caden drops back, looking to throw, looking to throw. Plenty of time. He's going to run now. He throws the inside at the 10, at the 5. Touchdown, Valdosta State! Chris Anderson with the catch. This punter's done a nice job of really kicking some high ones. It's a fake. They're going to try to get it. They don't get it. The Blazers lead it and stop it. Clock's at 6.35 to go into football game. Blazers 41 to 26. O'Neal with it. Outside first down 10. O'Neal 5. O'Neal touchdown. That'll do it, folks. 47-26. O'Neal's fourth touchdown of the day. The David Dean Show. Your weekly look at Valdosta State University Blazer football. Here's your host, Dick Rocky, along with head coach David Dean, for a look at this week's Blazer football action. Hello and welcome to the David Dean Show. I'm Dick Rocky with the head coach, Valdosta State, with a commanding 48-26 to win over Carson Newman, advanced to the Division II semifinals. And coaches, our good friend uh, Whit Chapel might say it's a great day to be a Blazer. <laughs> it, it is. It was a it was a fun day, uh, kind of a, at times an excruciating day, having to sit there and watch that offense run. You know they do a great job with it, but our defense made some great adjustments, played very hard in the second half, and whenever you can hold that team to six points in the second half, uh, that says a lot. Yeah, you'd warned us about. We had seen this, but it's been a long time since we've seen anybody could run that offense like that, and. And I, I told you I missed a play or two just because I, I wasn't quick enough to watch it. And we're going to see that in just a second. We'll be back with the first half highlights. Valdosta State University. Quality academics. On campus and online. Caring faculty mentors. A beautiful campus. Opportunities for involvement, leadership, and service. Championship athletics, spirit and pride. Discover your opportunity. Valdosta State University. Welcome back to the Coach David Dean Show. Coach, uh, it, it was eerily so similar to the w game last week against West Alabama. We fell behind in the first half, dominate the second half. But that offense, uh, it's, it's fun to watch if you're not playing against Carson Newman. No, it's, it is not fun to watch uh, if you're a football coach. Uh, and, and I tell you one thing that Carson Newman has done is they've uh, they've expanded to go to a little bit more up tempo, and that really puts a big strain on you. But uh, like I said, you know our kids made a great adjustment, started tackling a little bit better. Uh, you know they force you to be disciplined, and uh, you, you're limited on the number of opportunities that you have on the other side of the ball because they can't control it. And the one thing that I was really amazed uh, after I heard at the end of the game is we had more possession time than they did. Absolutely. It was a first probably for them in a long, long time. Yeah, Let's yeah. watch the first half highlights. Had a nice crowd, great student turnout, and I can even tell from the press box it was a noisy crowd. It was very noisy, and, and we appreciate everybody showing up, especially our students. It was great to have the full band back. And, uh, you know, it was just it was a great atmosphere. It was a great day for football. I thought it was perfect weather. Uh, we get a good start here. Uh, Jake Walker kicks the ball in the end zone, and we get a uh, – a touchback, and uh, I mean this is typical. You don't look like they do much, and that's an eight-yard gain. It's just so hard to defend if you don't get a quick hit on that on that running back right off the bat. They then they can they can cause you some problems. Great job here with the option. Great job there by Chris Pope. You got enough of him to push him out of bounds. Uh, they continue a great drive. Really proud right here of our defense to stand up and and keep them out of the end zone. You know, we had to hold them to a field goal attempt, and uh, their field goal kicker did an outstanding job all day long. I think he had four field goals and uh, had all four of them uh, made. But it was a good stop for us. We come back out first down. We throw the ball there to, to Cedric O'Neill for a good game, and then we have a nice little run there by, by Caden. 
little naked play we throw to Chris Anderson. I thought Chris Anderson played an outstanding football game. You're going to see two big catches that he made uh, in the second half of this ball game. Shontavious again made some big catches for us. I got to get him to tuck that ball away, but outstanding effort of running after the catch. And then uh, this one right here, you know, Cedric O'Neill just continues to play great football for us. Wish he could have reached that one in the end zone. Didn't quite get there, but then they go with the sneak and we, uh, we push that thing in the end zone. Great answer there on the opening drive to come back and, and get a touchdown and, and take the lead. And uh, again, here's, here's this offense. They're very methodical in what they do. Uh, they don't throw the ball very much. They force you to go man to man a lot of times. And you know, they have good receivers that can get open. And uh, if their quarterback can deliver the football to them, it, it, it puts a hurt on you. And, Here's a big fourth down stop right here. This was great for us. We got great field position. We stop them right there on the 47-yard line on fourth and one. And then what a great run there by Cedric O'Neill. He makes a safety miss after he goes through a big line and just outruns him to the end zone there for a touchdown. A little scary there. He bumped into the pole there on the play clock. He was okay. Got up and, you know, right here, we again, we're not tackling very good right now. We're trying to strip the ball out of there instead of wrapping up and and driving running backs backwards. And uh, I think as the game went on, we started doing a much better job of that. Great job here by Tevin Davis. That was a big sack for us. This is a big third down conversion right here. We throw over the middle to, to Gerald Ford, who had another, another great football game, makes a big catch to continue a drive. And then uh, good check down throw right there to Austin Scott. They, they cover up everything down the field and he does a good job of throwing it. And then, Here's a stretch again with the little bubble screen. Well, this was a big play for us right here. Dominic DeMossi hits a great punt, and Alex Webster does a great job of finding the ball, coming back, and, and we got him down inside the, the five yard line there, which we need to keep them there. We don't need to let them get out, and we did, and they, they started to flip the field position on us a little bit. Here's a mistake on their part. They had checked off at the line of scrimmage, and. The, the uh, wide receiver didn't get the check, and the quarterback was left standing there holding the football. And we'd get to him, but they put together a great drive, and uh, this was a big stop for us right here. It's a uh, uh, they they get down in there, and we force them to use a lot of time to get into the end zone, you know, and that that was good for us. As it turns out later in the ball game, it took some things out of their playbook. I think. Uh, when they got down in the red zone, and I think that was a big, big play for us, a big series for us. But, you know, unfortunately, they come back right here and, and they break a long run and they take the lead. And then um, we make a mistake. We throw a little bit late over the middle. Their safety breaks on it and makes, a, makes the interception, and we give them the ball right back inside the 25 yard line. So they're already in field goal range. We can't let them have any more than a field goal attempt. And I'm really, really proud of our defense right here because that's exactly what they did. They came out for three snaps and forced those guys uh, to have to go to a field goal. And uh, again, their guy puts it through there and they go up by, by six. We have a nice little, little drive here right before the, the end of the half. We get a nice run by uh, Cedric O'Neill again. Our offensive line does a great job of blocking. And you see right now, we've. We're not much time left. We get the ball down inside the 10 yard line. And this was disappointing to us right here. We had the ball uh, inside the one. I really thought Caden scored right here. It's a great effort on his part. He reached the ball over the line right there for a touchdown. They didn't give it to us. And then the next play, we try to sneak and got, I got stuff there at the line of scrimmage. And, and uh, we end up going down by six instead of up by one. Coach, uh, go down just a, a little bit behind. Cedric, 15 rushes for 194 yards. What, what an outstanding night, you know, I mean, outstanding day, I should say. Uh, he broke a lot of tackles, as you'll see in the second half. He was getting into the secondary, making the secondary miss, and now all of a sudden those, those 10, 15-yard runs turn into 20, 30-yard runs. Okay, we'll be back with the second half, another second half that Valdosta State dominates. Valdosta State University. Encouraging. In-depth inquiry. Hands-on experience. Service and involvement. And a global view while offering a beautiful residential campus, over 100 fields of study, graduate and online degrees, and championship athletics, all in a warm and friendly community. 
Get connected and involved. Discover your opportunity. Valdosta State University. Coach, I always like to just give you some information. We talked about Cedric, the three touchdowns. He's the first 1,000-yard rusher since 2007. And the 34 rushing touchdowns by your football team is the most since 2004. And that's significant. 2004 National Championship, 2007 <laughs> National Ship. So a little bit of deja vu there, we hope. Well, any time that you're able to run the football and also throw the football, then you become uh, very broad in what you can do offensively. And, and those are – the running the football was one of the reasons that we won those two national championships. So hopefully we can continue to do that. It, it's, it's not a said yeah. it's done deal yet, but you know, hopefully we can continue to keep playing well. All right, let's take a look at the second half. And what a second half for Valdosta State. I told you Valdosta State received the, the second half kickoff, punted the football, and then went touchdown, 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 touchdown. <laughs> So I think that's that's hard to beat right there. Yeah, well that's that's a great way to finish the game with five straight uh, five straight touchdowns, and then obviously we ran the clock out at the end of the game, which was our our sixth possession. But uh, you know this was a this was a not a very good start here in the second half. We we run the ball on first down and don't get anything. We misfire on second down, right there on an incomplete pass, and then have another incomplete pass on third down, and uh, give them a good good field position. And uh, again, to their credit, they come out and they go straight ahead at us. And they're churning and running, running hard. And again, our defense does an outstanding job here of holding them into the, when they get to the red zone, hold them to a field goal attempt. And that was, again, that was huge to keep uh, giving them the field position that they had and they're only coming away with, with three points. Uh, turns out to be a big difference in the ball game. Good, good throw here off the screen to, to uh, Shontavious Jones, uh, needing to turn that thing up the field a little bit quicker instead of taking it across, but uh, he does a good job there getting us some positive yardage. Great throw here to Gerald Ford. It makes a big catch with a guy draped over the top of him, and then a good throw here to Shontavious. He beat him uh, beat the corner deep. Caden makes a great throw right on the money. And uh, good answer there, and you're talking about an answer. Here's theirs. They come out and break a long run here right off the bat. Great hustle by our football team to go down there and hold them at the nine-yard line. And again, this was another huge stop. They first and goal at the nine-yard line, and uh, they only have an opportunity to come away with three points. And again, we got great effort. Almost get to the kick right there, but we keep it as a one-score game. You know, all we have to do is score a touchdown and take the lead. Great job here on third down by Caden, he avoids the rush, sprints and gets the first down, keeps the drive alive. It was a very smart play on his part. And uh, this was a third down play again. We get the first down, lose it. We got great effort there by Shontavious. We end up coming back with a fake right here. Trocon Gay makes a great run. He gets a little bit of blocking down the field. He may score a touchdown there. But uh, that was a big conversion for us on the fake. Great execution by our guys. But Coach Walker puts together that fake and did a great job. And then here's Chris Anderson, just a uh, you know, great job there by Caden improvising. And uh, Chris never gave up on the play, kept working, makes the catch, breaks the tackle, goes into the end zone. So we do take the lead there, 28-26. And then our defense really started playing well from here on out. And, and this is kind of where our offense our offensive line started taking over the game. Here's a third down conversion for us right here. We got a third down and four. Another great run there by Cedric. He picks up about 20 yards off that play there. And you know, quarterback draw here, first play of the fourth quarter. This was a huge play for us. We really caught him in, in some hard rushes and were able to run that quarterback draw. Great block there by Chris Anderson and on the bubble screen to Gerald. And then uh, again, another great job here by Caden. Dumps the ball off there to Chris Anderson. and He pins us down there to the one yard line and we just got lucky here. We fumbled the snap. And, you know, we always tell our running backs to, to pay attention to where that ball is when the quarterback goes under center. And that's what Cedric did. Saw it, picked it up and went into the end zone. It's the second time we've done that in the last two years. It's very, very fortunate on that. Here's a big play again. We stop them on third down, force them into a fourth down and nine. They try to fake the punt. They don't make the, the fake. And a good run here by, again, by Austin. 
driving for some yards. We have a bad snap there and on third down, and it's kind of disappointing that we didn't have an opportunity to, to go forth there on third down. But this is a fourth down play, great protection, and uh, Quinn Robertson works his way open in the back of the end zone. Big throw, great job there by Caden on, on the good throw and, and buying some time. But again, the protection was the big thing. And then this was this was a kind of a backbreaker for him right here. We come out and force the fumble. And there's Chris Anderson again. You can see just running over people, playing so hard. Great move right there on their safety. But Cedric gets in the end zone there for the touchdown. From that point on, they, they were forced to throw the football. That's not their game, and that kind of played into our hands. Coach, a couple of things we were talking about before we started. Blazers in the second half had the football 18 minutes and 57 seconds, which is huge against that team. And then also, they were in the red zone four times. They were four for four, but only one touchdown. That was huge. You know, you, you look at that, and, and that for them, uh, four trips in there with three field goals, that right there is a wasted 12 points. And you put those 12 points on the board, and it's 48-38. That changes kind of how you approach the, the fourth quarter there from a play calling standpoint. All right, we'll be back with the Gander Mountain scoreboard in just a moment. I got my MBA online at VSU. As a working mom who travels on business, I needed an MBA program that fit my schedule and allowed me to balance both my work and home life. VSU's Web MBA was perfect. I was able to spend time with my family in the evenings and then complete my assignments. My MBA is one of my greatest accomplishments. It was hard work, but I would do it again in a heartbeat. Don't wait. Start your MBA today. Welcome back to the Gander Mountain Scoreboard. Coach, just a couple of scores to look at, uh, which is good. Uh, uh, Winston-Salem, 21-17 uh, to 17 over Indiana University, Pennsylvania. Uh, Indiana Pennsylvania was is one of the best defenses in the country, and, and that was a low-scoring game, kind of flip-flop back and forth, and I think Winston-Salem scored late to win it. And they will play uh, West Texas A&M, who defeated the number one seeded CSU Pueblo 34-13. Well, West Texas A&M has played a couple of Gulf South Conference schools this year, so you know we kind of have a, an idea of matchup on them. But they're an outstanding football team, very good athletes, throw the ball very well. Uh, that's going to be a heck of a matchup there with those two. They Both of them have outstanding athletes. And final score, our opponent, and we'll get more into that after on our next break, but um, Missouri, uh, excuse me, Minnesota State over uh, Missouri Western 17 to 10. And uh, we'll talk about more, but we're going to territory we've never been to before. We're going to Minnesota. Never been to Minnesota. Uh, personally, I've never been to Minnesota. I know the Valdosta State never has, but, uh, you know, uh, Minnesota State scores late and uh, takes, takes the win there 17 to 10 at home. And uh, they're having an outstanding year. They're undefeated. All right, we'll uh, be back with the uh, Langdale Honda Kia look ahead in just a moment. Welcome back to the Langdale Honda Kia look ahead and coach uh, we have a little bit of time here but again a team uh, we've Minnesota State Mankato uh, we know where Minnesota has I've been there once uh, <laughs> we know it's going to be cold and besides the football game you have there's a lot of preparation leading up to the Blazers leaving this coming Friday. Well there is a lot to do you know uh, going to to a new place trying to find places to eat for our players and where are we going to stay and going into un uncharted territory. A uh, big thing for us this week that, that really concerns me is this is our finals week. And you don't ever want to play on the week that you're having finals. But, uh, you know, hopefully our kids are going to concentrate on, on their academics and, and do a good job. And, and when we get through the finals, then they turn their concentration to, to that ball game on Saturday. Just a quick look last night when I was looking at the, st the st stats and everything. You've got all the films you'll be looking at, but look, they look to be a pretty balanced team like the Blazers as far as throwing and running the football. Well, they are. They're very balanced in what they do. They play in a very good football league. Uh, you know, Minnesota Duluth, who's won two national championships, I believe, over the last three or four years, uh, is, is in their conference. And for them to go undefeated uh, it says a lot. They beat the the defending national runner-up in the regular season, Wayne State. So they're a very good football team. They're very athletic. Uh, what they do, they do very well. They play very good at home, it looks like. 
So it's going to be a heck of a challenge for us. You know, cold weather, I asked Caden after the football game, I interviewed him Saturday, and I said, uh, do you mind the cold weather? He said, no, I'm from Oklahoma. So <laughs> I, we're bothered when you're older with the cold weather. The players don't care. We proved that a few years ago. Sure. When when you get out there on the field and get to running around, you, you heat up. And I know in the postgame press conference, we had Chris Pope, Cedric O'Neill, and Trocon Gay, and, and each one of them were asked, uh, did, have you ever played in the snow? And, and none of them had ever played in the snow and a couple of them said I've never even seen snow yeah. so it'll be a little bit different experience for those guys but you know bottom line when three o'clock rolls around yeah. Saturday afternoon you put all that behind and you got to do your job you've got a lot of film to look at uh, normally would you maybe make some phone calls but you probably don't know who to call about <laughs> Minnesota I guess no we don't know who to call we, we really don't know a lot of folks in in that area or in that league so uh, you know, we're kind of going in blind on this, which is which is not bad. And so now we're just we got to do a great job of, of concentrating, uh, putting our kids in the best situation. Our kids got to go up and play hard. I think they realize how close they are to to reaching an ultimate goal. Uh, I think the most important thing that our kids have done since the West Alabama game is they play one game at a time. And if we can continue to do that and focus on Minnesota, Mankato, uh, go up there and play well on the roads. First time we've been on the road in a long, long time. Mm -hmm. Got to go up there and play well. All right, Coach. Well, congratulations on a great season that's going to continue with the semifinals. That kickoff is at 3 o'clock uh, this coming Saturday. You can listen to it on the Blazer Radio Network, but it will also be broadcast live on one of the ESPN channels. I'm not sure which one. But again, that kickoff is at 3 o'clock, and I know there'll be a lot of excitement, a lot of people having parties, et cetera, to watch the football game. But don't forget, you can listen to it on the radio also. So, Coach, again, a great win for Valdosta State, one game away from the national championship game. So for the head coach, David Dean, I'm Dick Rocky. I hope you have a wonderful week.